was a morning in June when I heard that tune falling up to the beat of your heart like a white rain sails from a startled trail our eyes met and then landed so we Shell on a beach, waiting for your reach, falling up to the mountain to climb. You came reassuring, Mother Nature's procuring. There's no need for doubt in this life. You came reassuring, Mother Nature's procuring. There's no need for doubt in this life. Sun through the pines in a silent space in a cup full of time in these orderly ways in this disorderly life I let go of my hand in the jar for the great moon in the middle of June falling up to the pole of Hey guys, so we have made it to Baymont, California. This is delivery number one, and we have delivery number two, which is in the morning. I'm kind of nervous about it. We have enough time, theoretically, as long as we don't get held up here, but we have like an eight-hour drive. I thought it was like a two-hour drive to get to Stockton from Baymont. Apparently, it's eight hours. Apparently, California is bigger than I realized. So, yeah, we're going to have to see how far we can get today. Good thing is it is like 9.58 in the morning here in California. So providing that, you know, our appointment time is at 10. We were here nice and early, like 30, 40 minutes early. And then tomorrow we already have another pickup, which is another thousand miles headed back to Kansas. So I am so excited. RTI has kept us moving and making that money. So I am so, so happy. Whereas other companies haven't. We were in rural New Mexico and it was like as pitch black as it could be. We were in here, we were having so much fun. We were in here listening to stories, um, playing through our stereo system of skinwalkers. skinwalkers. We were listening to stories of the skinwalker because we were, weren't far from locations where people say that these skinwalker creatures come out and like chase people down the road and like. <laughs> run alongside their vehicles and all these things stories of ufos oh my god guys we passed over there by white sands new mexico white sands missile range just to the north we came in some state routes and late at night and it was right past the famous ufo sightings where a state trooper in new mexico actually spotted what he said was a ufo um flying disc that landed and people actually got out of he never said it was aliens he said he suspected it was military, but it was typical flying disc. So anyway, so we had so much fun. So I was watching, I particularly was watching the night vision very, very close, just in case we spotted aliens or, you know, a UFO or a skinwalker or something unusual. I'm like, there's something out there people are seeing. What is it? What the hell? I think, I think we're up there. I'm 
Crystal Knight. 